Good morning. Hi. We're back in the conservatory this morning. It's early. I feel like a real baker because they always get up early, don't they, to get everything on the shelves before the shops open. Well, I've got, I haven't got a shop. I always fancy the shop. I'm going hard work, I guess. Especially now, if you're working in the shops, if you're a key worker, whatever that is, whether it's the NHS, whether it's carers, whether it's transport, supermarkets, you know, all the things that go on in our lives that we don't normally consider. And all of a sudden in this pandemic situation, we're very, very aware and, you know, so supportive. And then, then we do the stay home, stay safe, of course. And for some people that's imperative. We know that. We know that that is the big thing to do and the hard thing to do for some people. Really, really hard. But we've got to keep on doing it. And for some people, like myself, I'm neither old enough to be called vulnerable, but I don't have a key working job. But I wanted to be useful. And basically, I heard of a local, and these are happening everywhere, a local group that are gathering together donations from from the stay home people, from the key workers, from anybody donating some food to the food banks to be distributed around to people that are isolated or vulnerable situations. Some folk never see us old, do they? So I wondered whether I could do, bake. <laughs> I thought, well, you know, I best bake. So that's what I've been doing. So we're putting together, if we can, a a hot meal or a cold meal. I've done today's cold meal, actually, just because we've got a mountain of eggs to use up on a sell-by day, so it's very egg-bound. <laughs> I've done some um, Spanish tortilla, and that's in the fridge. And I'll get that out later in the video and show you the pack-up. But I don't normally do the hot meals or the mains. I don't, I don't desserts. It's got to be something that can be made with what you've got, made cheaply, and obviously be tasty, hopefully. So... Well, I've got here a selection of things. We have donated some cooking apples. So I've made individual apple pies. The reason I made them individual is because I'm thinking if you, if you make a big apple pie for transport, it would get crushed because we're missing all the things that you need for packaging and everything to get things safely as well, safely to people. So that's why they're individual. I made some, because today's I'm going to do a, I had some corned beef hash left over from one of my own videos. So I made some, these have come out of the freezer, some little sausage rolls, because we're having a, like a tapas, because <laughs> I've got the Spanish omelette. We're having tapas today. Um, and then they, these are, these are buns. We used to call cupcakes an old thing, aren't they? Big cupcakes. But when I was a girl, we had buns. Fairy cakes. Because the smaller, so the mixture goes further. Have you heard of a current bun? Well, these I have been donated again. Thank you. Please give anything you can to the local food banks. So important. So I've made a mixture with some currants in, simple, and, and I've put them in little bags in that. And I'm ready to put some more in. So basically, um, it's for this mixture to get about, I don't know, 20, 24 cupcakes. I've got 200 grams of, um, like, stock. 200 grams of, in this case, granulated sugar, because I couldn't get caster sugar. Four eggs and 200 self-raising flour. And that's it. As simple as that. And just put in a little... Three quarter fill your little cases, and then they go in the oven about 180 degrees and they're done in about 10 minutes. So later on today I'll be packing all this stuff up and I'll come back to my video and you can see it'll be like a picnic if people have got a garden, they can sit out with the little treats. So there we are, whatever you're doing, stay safe. If you've got to, and most people do have to, stay home if you're a key worker, Fantastic. All people in shops, supermarkets, tremendous. And uh, I'll come back later and we'll show you packing up the parcels. That's the best bit. See you later, everybody. Bye. Hi, everybody. Yeah, welcome back. It's been a bit mental, actually, in, in my cookhouse this morning, Karen's Cantina. I've been doing the packed lunches. 
this is pretty much it. So you can see we've got um, the tortilla, the Spanish omelette. We have a sausage roll with corned beef hash. We've got a bit of salad. We've got potato salad, carrot rapé. Um, so it's like it's like a little party plate of a tapas. And I was hoping it was going to be a roasting hot day today to go in the garden for these people. These are the ones. So we've got 40 packed up. And then we have the apple pies, the currant buns um, to go with it. So, yeah, I'm really, really pleased with that. I think it looks extremely healthy and colourful and a change. So there we are. So that's me done. Um, video's pretty much over. Please really make the most of what you've got around you stay home stay safe if you've got a garden use your garden if you've got a caravan in the drive get in your caravan so that you can utilize that as a space make have a meal in there do something daft with it you know we have to make the most of every single thing we've got at the moment and uh, let the people the key workers do their job and get us out of this situation as fast as they possibly can so if you've got anything you'd like to donate to your local food bank or you want to contact me directly um, for ideas of where to go and what's needed, then please do. But, you know, stay safe, stay home and um, I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.